Hello and welcome to Neo Pagan November. So this is going to be for many of you the first time you're meeting me and I know that a lot of us are going to be meeting new people through these tags anyways but I haven't really been part of the witch tube community. Um, I did a my very first witch tag last week which was um, hashtag more than a witch by Abby the witch and that's I think why I'm starting to see some of these other tags which is great and I love it. But I thought it was very interesting that the first hashtag is hashtag light. Um, so that is kind of making me feel some kind of way. Um, I've already like tried to film this twice and I normally just hit record and go. I'm not somebody that really like thinks too much about anything. But I am feeling slightly vulnerable and triggered about this. And I just want to make sure that I'm communicating it the way that I want it to come across. So first thing is though I did just light one of my favorite candles um, from Shy Wolf. She makes amazing candles that smell so good. This is the Hermit and of course the Hermit card um, with his lantern makes me think of light and the Path of Illumination which is my favorite um, tarot card. My favorite major arcana or one of them. And so I did light the Hermit just to kind of pull that energy in. Um, I haven't been on witch tube because I've been on tarot tube. And the reason for that is because I wasn't somebody that really called myself a witch. And I had been kind of like in denial about the fact that I am a witch probably until maybe like two years ago. Um, I have been making content here on YouTube for like a very long time, just here and there, kind of just whatever but I would consider myself a light worker. And that is why the word light or that tag for today, that's what made me want to talk about it. Because here I am just new into the witch tube side because I kind of have been like nervous. What if they find out? What if the witches find out that I'm not a witch? They find out that I'm a light worker. And somehow like there's a big difference with that, which I just don't think that there is. But um, I feel like maybe some of the younger generation witches um, might not realize that it hasn't always been so socially acceptable to call yourself a witch. So the first thing I want to do is say kudos and hats off to the crones and the women and the men who have been claiming themselves as witches since way before it was cool. That's amazing. And I'm so glad that you had the, you know, uh, no fucks to give to not care. And I don't really even think that's why I wasn't calling myself a witch, I think that if I'm honest about my path, it started in the new age because I would say one of the biggest keys to my spiritual awakening was Oprah. I grew up watching Oprah because my mom would watch her like back in like the 80s and 90s, um, back before it was, you know, cool, back like with like Donahue and those other talk show hosts. And then into the 90s, I like didn't even ever want to go to school um, I've talked pretty openly about how I dropped out at a really, really young age and I would stay home to help my mom babysit my younger sisters and I would watch Oprah every day. And in the nineties, her show began to take more of like a new age path. I would say authors like Eckhart Tolle and books like The Secret and, um, Abraham Hicks and, Wayne Dyer and Louise Hay and like all of that was just like really coming into my awareness. And so that's what began that path for me. So that naturally more gears more towards the, you know, the light worker path. And, and, and again, it's not like I don't still think that I'm a light worker because I do, but I guess I didn't realize that I could be a light worker and a witch. And what did witch mean? And again, growing up, the only depictions of witches that you ever seen were bad and evil. And um, even then when I got older and I realized that they're not, I still would think of more like Wicca and I'm not Wiccan. And um, that path has not ever really called me. And I don't judge anybody's path on anything. Um, but definitely started more, like I said, on the new age path. And then um, after my dark, my dark night of the soul in the um, 2010s, when my marriage was falling apart and my husband was, you know, on the brink of death from drug addiction and then subsequently died, my twin flame came back. 
just the word twin flame triggers a lot of witches. And I feel like I have to keep a lot of that stuff hush hush because it's kind of frowned upon. I do think there's a lot, there are some differences and that's fine, but I find myself like in this in-between area. So if you're a light worker and a witch, you know, maybe you'll understand where I'm coming from. And if you're just a light worker, maybe you'll be able to understand that witches aren't what you think they are and vice versa. So anyway, um, I had to go back and go, okay, like I'm doing Reiki. Okay, cool. But I was doing a lot of ritual and not realizing like I, you know, technically the definition for magic is manipulating energy. And I've been doing that for a very, very long time. So I just think in the last little bit, it came to me like whether you want to call yourself a witch or not, you are, you are practicing magic and you are um, a witch. And then that was right when it was like becoming popular. And I'm, I've always kind of been that girl that's like, I don't like to be trendy, which is stupid. You shouldn't stop yourself from doing something just because it's trendy. Um, so anyways, this is kind of like my coming out party, which is, seems ridiculous because if you look at my life, everything about me points to like, oh yeah, she's a witch. But I was not calling myself that until very, very recently, even though, you know, in the last two to three years, my path has very much veered from like the Reiki and the lighter side to more of the occult. And I do fully believe that we are here to experience both. And I believe that the best path is the middle path, which would be the gray area. I think that in all cases, not just with magic, but like, I don't think it's ever good to be polarized to one side or the other, whether that's politics, whether that's beliefs, or whether that's a magical practice. I like to stay in the middle. So we came here to experience good and bad, dark and light. And um, we have shadow sides. I have, you know, um, that knowing that that is really what it is through the darkest times in my life that have helped me to grow the most. Rarely do we grow when things are easy. Rarely do we grow when things are, you know, hunky-dory. So anyway, this is kind of my first video. I don't want to ramble on too much about it, but when I say the word light, it makes me think of light worker and I am, and I am here to just say that I am a light worker and I am a witch and I'm excited to continue on this path. I've already met or like started to follow so many other um, like channels. And I hope that you other witches will welcome me in and won't be um, judging me the way that I judge myself. So I'm excited to do the whole month of tags. And I just want to thank Brittany for creating such a fun tag. And I am looking forward to getting to know you guys more. Bye.